Hello everyone, I'm George, not from FM Scout, but from the little brother, FM Mobile Vibe. As we revive our own channel, FM Scout will host this video to reach more of the mobile game lovers. Long story short, FM Mobile is a faster way to play Football Manager. That doesn't mean you can fiddle around for hours in the game or have a quick match on the go. So let's jump into the game. And just for you to know, the game is available on Android and iOS and there is no differences between the two. The game came out a few days ago, so I got the time to play around and I will give you the best info about it. Let's hit new game and as in the past years, you have three options to play. The career mode, challenge mode when you get small half a season challenges or my club which is basically a career mode when you replace a real world club with your club, your name, your colors and so on. We're gonna go to career, put my name, then I'm from Romania and you have the game options. I will suggest to leave as it is. Only thing to change is your reputation. If you want to manage a top league team, put at least normal. For lower league team, you can go unknown. You can choose up to four countries where you will spend your days as a manager. This year, you have 24 nations to choose from, three of them being new, Mexico, Canada, and Argentine. Be careful if you choose Mexico, as those leagues don't have promotion and relegation. It's not just in the game, it's just how those leagues behave in the real world. I'm going to France for this save. Link on. And I'm gonna pick Marseille. That's it. Here we are. Breaking news, I'm the new manager. If you are new in FM Mobile, I will give you a quick rundown and then focus on the new stuff in the game. First thing, it's your inbox. When you get news about your players, your team, players that you watch for, reports from scouts, and so on. Then you have your homepage, which is a quick view of your club, next fixtures, competition you are in, next match, standings, financing, and so on. From here, you can quick jump to those sections by pressing the titles. This section is about the club itself. The first team, second team, or reserves, taxes, financing, training, stuff. You get the point. Then the section about you you the manager your history trophy cabinet your profile you can assign few responsibilities to your staff talk with the board of directors asking for better facilities more money for players or wages next is the footballing world when you can see the competition around the world and your chosen nation the search tab this is important as you will search for players staff for your club see available manager jobs if you want to change your job and see scouts reports or shortlist players. Now, small chit chat was made, let's go to the heavy part, the quotes, total revamp tactics. At the beginning, you will get this pop-up that will help you set up your first tactic using a few templates. That doesn't mean you can change it later. These are just recommendation approaches. So our assistant manager is recommending based on existing players, Tiki Taka, vertical Tiki Taka and control position. For each option, you get a brief description to better understand it. Like vertical tiki taka, it's a quick passing style of possession and move and yada yada yada. You get the point. Next are the formation, and we get a ton of options. And two are highlighted from Ricardo, my assistant. And now that's it. Basically, you are good to go if you want a quick game. You can then change a lot from here. This year, there are new tactical roles. Wait. A tactical role is how a player should behave in a given position. He can play as a central defender, as a position, but a tactical role can be central defender, ball playing defender, no nonsense, center back, sweeper, and libero. Each one being very different. Some of the new additions to the tactical roles are inverted winger, roaming playmaker, and pressing forward, who replaced the last year defensive forward. Also this year, we have the addition of marking option for the position in your half of the pitch, like defenders, defensive midfielders, or some tactical roles in the middle line. For tactical roles and marking, double tap on your desired player. Oh, and here we have the relationships. Let me jump in one of my saves to understand it. 
these are relationships that form on the pitch and they are different from players dynamics that we're going to talk about later on the relationships on the pitch will affect or not your players performances in the game from what i've played so far in the long run the stronger the relationships the better your team will perform so it will take time be patient moving forward you can change the tactic from shape perspective of view defense and attack each tab giving you lots of options to experiment with Arguably, the most anticipated feature on FM Mobile 10 One was the set pieces option. It's kind of cool and heavy as there are loads of options to wrap your head around. Until now, you only had five lists. Penalty takers, left corners, right corners, left and right free kicks. You could choose up to eight penalty takers and all other lists had four slots. Now there are 11 slots for each of it and you have 8 position for free kicks. Just select your desired position and then assign the players. And next you have each player position in each scenario, defense and offense. The same, you select your desired position and then assign each player instruction. And in the attack, you also dictate how the set pieces will start, what type of shot or cross. You will need a lot of time to play to get as you like it. But as always, FM Mobile can be done with only one tap, asking your assistant manager. So be sure you have a good one. If you take the long route, remember to save your tactic. You may need it in the future on a different save or reset your tactic after some games. And now at the end of the tactic screen, you have the captain, which now is no longer just a list. It's a list that will make a difference in your squad as it may affect your player relationships and the whole squad dynamics. And speaking of squad dynamics, go to the team report and besides some useful insights, the last tab, you will have the dynamics. Here you can see how everything you do and player interaction will affect your performances. You also have the social groups and hierarchy. Dynamics and player relationships are the feature that I have a mixed feelings about it, a love-hate relationship. I love them as it brings more reality to the game, but I hate it for the moment as I struggle to adapt my style of playing to the game. Last year, it will take every team, sell two-thirds of it, buy a bunch of new players and everything will be just fine. Now with these features, you will need to think twice if you want to sell a player or not, not to kill your own pitch relationships or the social groups. In my first save, after three months, I had no leaders in the team and the Wonder Kids didn't develop that good. You may have a player with high leadership attribute, but will serve for nothing if that player is not seen as a leader from the other player's stand of view. You can have some great players that you would like to use as a mentor for your future stars, but if they are not influencer, the mentoring part will take longer or even go badly with strained relationships and so on. So be careful with your squad dynamics, it's very important. Okay, your club. You have your first team and reserve or second team. Side note, reserve team is not the same as a second team. A second team will have its own stadium and play in a real league and can be promoted and relegated. The second team behaves as a different club and the reserve team is just a reserve team. And even if they have league and fixtures, the staff and players tend to do less and have less responsibilities. Next, you have the training where you will set up intensity for each player, the tactical role you want to train for or what attribute to get on individual training. Also, you can retrain focus position from here. You have your staff and you can sack some or send them to exam to get better. Staff quality is determined by their badges. That's why you send them to take exams. And also by aptitude. Poor being the lowest and natural being the highest. Also here you can send scouts around the world to inform about good players in the market. And you can see the medical info about injured players or the prone to injury ones. This is important to know how to train and how to play those players. Lastly, the financing. Not much to tell. Only have wage budget, and transfer budget, but you can balance those out. The new addition here, it's your affiliate clubs. Clubs that you can send players on loan 
you will still play wages, but they will get playing time. How do you get an affiliate club, you may ask? Switch section to manager, go to board request, and there you have it, acquire affiliate. Also here, you can talk with the board of directors about facilities, budgets, stadium. Some other pages in the manager section include the board confidence in your work and what they expect from you, manager profile, manager history, trophy cabinet, and the manager option. Worth taking a look here as you can set some duties to your staff. Well, nothing new here from the last year. The search tab is the same as the last year, nothing new. You get your scout reports, shortlisted players, the search for clubs, players and staff, and scouting agency. This is worth taking a look at as you will see what are the best players in the game, seniors and youth, or wonder kids. Youth rankings, this is my favorite. You can find some cool gems. Every start of the season, you can get some South American wonder kids for peanuts. Uh, see here, Matias Arezzo, killer player, value 3.3 million. Maybe you can get it under 10 million. You can ask for the price or just put the price as you think. Okay, 9 million and 20% sell of the next transfer. Great. Finalized deal. And the next day, we're going to talk about the contract with the player. Let's go there. Okay, offer contract he wants. Whoa, that's low. Okay, I take it. Look at the other request if you want to change it. In some leagues, you need to put a minimum release fee. Think twice before setting a fee because they may steal your player. Nice, we have Arezzo in our pocket. If you want to know more about the player before you make an offer, you should scout them. And this is how it looks like. You can see if it's interested or not, the potential ability, the wage demand, and some positive and negative aspects. And because we are on the player page, this is the last section we are talking about. First, you have the profile with all the attributes and few other infos. Next is the personal page. You will see here where he stands in the squad dynamics, his favorite clubs, and so on. And the new feature, what languages he can speak. This will impact his playing on the pitch and relationships. Luckily, he will learn new languages as he will stay at your club and he will get better on the pitch. And about the languages, I want to see something. I want to see Gareth Bale. I know the other players in the Real Madrid locker room mocked him because he knew nothing in Spanish. So Bale is natural in English, basic in Spanish and Welsh. So he's not fluent in his own country language. And look here, feels that going to Tottenham was a mistake. Well done, Bale. Forward, we can see where he can play as a position on the pitch and his behavior on each tactical role. Next, we have the contract, eligibility for the next match, history and achievements, all the all stuff, except relationships. These are relationships that players develop outside the pitch and right now, I'm not sure how it affects their performances. You will see the relationship that the player has within your club and outside your club. And that's not all. You have a set of controls on the bottom. The action button will give you a range of actions. There are different actions for your own players opposed to other players. You can retrain the player, offer to other clubs, and the new feature or the improved feature is the talk with the player. And stop. We are at the end. No, we are not at the end. I forgot about the match itself. Okay. Um, Let's go. And nothing special. Same bubble football like all FMPC games. Same as last year and so on. I do hope that this quick rundown was helpful. And if you are into the FM Mobile, go ahead and subscribe to our channel, FM Mobile Vibe. Link in the description. As we are starting to produce content on a regular basis. And if you want to chat with us and show off your saves, go to F mmvibe.com. You'll find a cool community. You'll love it. I'm George from Football Manager Mobile Vibe and see you soon.